Today I'm working on a, a Morris LaCroix watch and uh, this watch has a ETA 955412 movement. It's a very popular movement. You see them in a, a lot of high grade um, quartz or battery operated watches. Now I'm not going to speed up the footage on this video. I'll edit out the, the parts where I've gone off camera. But um, as it's uh, going to be a slightly longer video as a result, I'm going to um, split it up into uh, several different parts, um, maybe two, maybe three parts. Once I've stripped this down, I will be putting it back together in the next video. I will not be showing the lubrication simply because I have to get my head in too close and that ruins the shot. Perhaps I'll provide a link to the lubrication chart in the description. So as you can see, I've removed the hands and I've unscrewed and have removed the movement ring. So now I'm removing the battery. Now to remove the dial, uh, just to slide out these um, dial feet retainers. These retainers are hinged. Now working from the dial side, we need to remove the calendar mechanism. This uh, retaining plate um, covers the, the motion work and forms part of the calendar retaining as well, or calendar ring. Okay, now we'll remove the circuit board. This one is a short screw. Obviously being careful not to slip and scratch the coil. On this movement the coil is not separate from the circuit, it's a one piece. So damaging the coil means replacing the whole circuit board.
Remove the circuit insulator. That's the battery isolator. This stops the wheels from turning when you're setting the hands. Now we'll remove the wheels. Now removing the stepping motor, use a pair of brass tweezers or anti-magnetic tweezers. This is the retaining clip for the, the bolt piece. Be careful with this one, it can ping off quite easily once you've released it. You can see I'm using two pairs of tweezers so it doesn't ping across the room. Now the bolt piece is being held quite tightly by the setting lever spring so when you push this down um, be careful because the set and lever spring could fall onto the bench. Be careful not to lose it. You see in this case the set and lever spring has fallen onto the bench. Oh dear. My tweezers are magnif um, gotten magnetised. Okay, we'll just pull the winding stem out and you'll see the sliding pinion. And now the watch is stripped uh, completely and ready for cleaning. Most of the parts on this watch can actually go through the cleaning machine with the obvious exceptions of the circuit board. I wouldn't advise putting the stepping motor through the cleaning machine Obviously it's a magnet and it will attract every single piece of metal particle in the machine. So thanks for watching part one. In part two I'll start to reassemble this movement. Mm -hmm.